Today we're checking out the Slick Trick Torch. This is the newest of mechanical broadhead offerings in the Slick Trick line. And to be honest, it's the first one from Slick Trick that's a mechanical that I'm excited for. It's a two inch cut, single bevel broadhead. And I'll tell you straight up, I'm excited for this because a very good friend of mine, um, actually my Darton rep, shot some animals with these last year and the pictures he sent me showed some really solid performance. So I can't wait to see what they do in testing. The biggest thing I really like about this broadhead overall is it locks in place. I don't like broadheads that don't have a locking system to keep the blades open. Also, it's really easy to close. You just take, tilt a blade, pinch the other one down, slings in, bam. Now you're gonna find these for about $45 a three pack. Let's see what they do. Entry on leather, not fully open. There's a big old cut. Starts there. It's kind of tough to see, but it ends right in here. The problem I see is it gets skinnier as it goes. And then if you look there, it looks like it's closed when it goes into the target. Uh, let's pull it out and see what happens. Okay, so I started pulling on it. You can now see it's definitely not closed. Cut all the way up here, all the way down here. So that's good. Uh, shockingly, I got no deflection from the torch. It's gonna be your torch hole. <laughs> torch hole sounds funny. Anyways, you can kind of see the rotation starts because this is a single bevel. Now the edges on the blades are rolled, like pretty good. If you had the gumption to sharpen them up, I'm sure you could with no problem, but they are definitely rolled. The Slick Trick Torch is tied for the sharpest broadhead that I've ever tested out of the package at a 100. That is an amazing score, especially being mass produced. I'm very happy with that. I was shocked that I didn't see any level of deflection because the arrow hit level like this. It didn't hit upright, it hit level, and it still didn't deflect, which makes me very confident in taking it into the woods. You know, edge retention left some to be desired at a 225. Mechanicals get a little more grace with me. Not that they necessarily should, but they do because I pretty much see them as throwaways. You know, you shoot them, the blades are roasted, you replace the blades, or the broadhead has roasted, you replace the broadhead. I love, again, I'll say it again, I love this locking thing, man. I just, I like that it locks in the open position. You know, at the price point, I think they're a great option. I think compared to some of the other two blades out there, they're, they're definitely a great option. I'm gonna be shooting some this year. I highly recommend if you wanna shoot some as well.